Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. Today I'm joined by the lovely Todd. Hey everyone. So I'm a little bit of a horror snob, but I do love beer. And Todd is a little bit of a beer snob. Big time, big time beer snob. So <laughs> I figured it's perfect right before the fall season. Let's just review some pumpkin beers. I'm excited for this. Yeah, this would be a lot of fun. If you are as excited as I am, just hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first set of beers that we're going to be trying is a Legion. Now this pack comes in a 12 pack. There's four of each kind. The first one we are going to be tasting is a Night Owl. So Night Owl is their original pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkin, roasted and raw pumpkin seeds and spiced in conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger and allspice. Now the ABV for this is 6.7%. So I'm pretty excited. This is the bottle for it. How cute is that? So we have the little, the owl behind us. So yeah, we have our cute little, I'm gonna call them goblets. So Todd feels like manly, but they're wine glasses, but they're really cute. And I like creepy. the hand because I, I never know how to hold it. Yes. So it makes it easier to be like, okay, that's where I put my hand now. And they're like spooky cute. Yeah. So I figured like, I'm probably shaking. So don't mind me. It's okay. So we're, we're going to try not to get Todd like too drunk today because we have a bunch that we're going to try. We have... Don't want to go too much on the first one, you know? Yeah. We don't... We... Oh, did I give myself too much? Let's switch. Because okay. I can't pants that much. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys can see the color. Nice I wanted color. black glasses, but <laughs> yeah, this is the color. So. Yeah, because it shows the color of it. It's yeah. It's a nice color to it. So let's see. He likes to sniff it. Here's a beer snob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell all the stuff that they Oh my god. Out. Wow. That sounds really good. That's really That's good. That's very good. It tastes like good pumpkin, pumpkin taste. Yep. Tasty <sighs> allspice in there. Yeah. Didn't really get a lot of ginger, but I do get cinnamon. I get, I, yeah. I do get a tiny bit of ginger. Not like it's not overbearing because ginger okay. is like a little spicy. Yeah, I get, definitely get cinnamon, but it's a nice, it's a nice amount. Yeah. Oh my god, this is really yeah. good. Like yeah, I can yeah. literally drink this every day. Oh, this is good. This is my new fan, like, favorite. Are you drink the whole thing? Or no? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's up to you. All right, maybe, I, maybe I won't do if that. If I drink but. the whole thing by the end of this, because I think we're trying six different drinks. So if I do the whole thing, I'm going to be like, Ugh, by the end of it. So yeah. It's... Yeah, it's very good. It's very, um, even on like a hot day, like today, it's, it's a nice one. You could definitely drink. And yes. It's, it's not over, it's not too heavy. It's, it's very light. Yeah. And it's definitely something like on a nice fall day. Be an easy drinker, especially today when we're trying so many of them. But yeah. yeah. It's and it's one. definitely a hot one today. Yes. So it, it's a, I would drink this in August. Yeah, I would drink this in July. Like it doesn't have to be just like a full, you know, beer. But yeah, this is a perfect full beer. So I'm going to start the trivia questions now. Trivia time. You nervous? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So the first question is Leatherface. One of horror's iconic antagonists famously wielded which of these weapons? And do you need... Yes, yeah, I, okay. would, I definitely will. Chainsaw, okay. axe, knife, or bat? Um, you have a chainsaw? Yes. yes. Ding, 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 ding. Yes. You got to drink okay. now because you got it right. I was, I was like that. I'm like, I know he didn't have a bat. I'm like, chainsaw definitely sounds like something he had. Yes. Like, I, I was picturing him in my head, like, definitely something like a chainsaw. He's sitting right next to you, too. Like that, yeah. <laughs> Okay, you got that one right. Okay, we're impressed with Todd. I've done way better than I thought I would do right now. So this is <laughs> that great. was good. That was good. Okay, so the next question: Michael Myers' iconic mask, first seen in Halloween, was actually based on which? Uh, on, can't talk today. Based on a mold of which famous actor's face? William Shatner, Boris Karloff, John Wayne, or William Holden? Ooh. Trying to picture like the uh, the face. Yes, yeah, just look around the room. Um, <laughs> why do I want? To, is it John Wayne? No. Uh, <laughs> it is actually William Shatner. Oh really? Okay. Yes. He was like my third choice of what I was going with. <laughs> third, so. not the second. The third. No. Yeah. 
I think I was going with the <laughs> Boris next. Yeah. And then that. Yeah. yeah. William right Shatner. I wow. think that was what he... Never knew that. That's awesome. Now you're going to look at that mask oh, differently yeah. every time. 100%. Yeah. I love this beer. I can sure it's it's Very good. I definitely one I highly recommend if you uh, if you're a pumpkin fan. So yes, we do recommend the Night Owl, which is a pumpkin ale. We're gonna rate it too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I almost forgot. Yeah. Okay, I just got so excited about Todd getting the first question right. <laughs> okay, so we're each gonna read it. The top score would be five. Obviously, okay. it would be our it would be the best beer ever. The number one would be like okay, it kind of sucks. So. Okay, I'm gonna go with a four. Okay. Um, it's it's very good. It's light. I enjoy it. It's one I'll definitely go back to. Um, I have trouble rating things five. You don't want to start with the first one as a five. Yeah. So four is definitely a great start. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to see what else we got going here. So uh, yeah. So four. Todd gives it four stars. And I actually also give it four stars. I thought that it was really good. And like somebody who's not, like, I like stouts. I like sour beers. But I'm not really like a like hoppy beer. Like I like beer that's light. And this one's sweet. And I actually really hate anything flavored pumpkin. Like I hate really? pumpkin pie, anything flavored pumpkin. But I love pumpkin beers. I don't yeah, know if that makes sense. But <laughs> it's I. There's definitely other stuff that I can say the same. Like the stuff I'll like cucumbers. I'm not yeah. great. I don't eat like cucumbers a lot, but I love cucumber beer. Oh yes. So it, Me it's too. it's so good. But mm -hmm. yeah, the pumpkin that makes a lot of sense. It's, Especially because of all the stuff they throw in with it, kind of helps. Like you're not putting cinnamon and everything on. Pumpkin, yeah, so yeah, that makes exactly. sense. Uh, you might not like it elsewhere, but you definitely like drinking it. I love it. I waited too long in my life to start drinking pumpkin beer. It was so good. Okay, so the next beer on our list is Punkachino. Yes, it's a cute name, right? Okay, so this is the bottle. Punkachino is a pumpkin ale with the attitude of a world-weary barista. Punkachino packs a shot of stumped-in coffee in your pint with just a shake of cinnamon and nutmeg. The ABV for this is 6%. It's so, like normal for like a pumpkin beer, yeah. like 6% right? Yeah, it's not too high. So it's like, if you like pumpkin spice, I feel like this is what you want to go for. Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a coffee pumpkin ale. And this one's about 12 ounces. So these bottles are 12 ounces. So yeah, let's pour them and try them out. And then we're gonna do some trivia. It's the great pumpkin uh, can art or bottle art. It's beautiful. How are you on that? Like, do you like different kind of like can art? Is that I, like what dry, like makes you buy something? I don't think it makes me buy it, but a lot of times I will buy it if it, I, well then I guess it makes me buy it. Yeah. 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 I have some like actually up there if you could see like I have the slasher. Okay. Yeah. I have some that I drank and then I, I kept the can because they were just so cute. They, you know, I do the horrors. same. If I really like the can I'll buy it. Yeah. I wish I could try it but sometimes you can't really do that. So but yeah. you get the can you're like all right might not be the best but the can looks awesome. So yeah. you save the can but but yeah I'm, I'm a big a big sucker for the can art. Like you drive, you draw me in right away for yeah. that. Yeah, and I right. love when, especially when it's horror based. I don't know. Just, oh yes. Like I don't know. I love. It. I've been buying like energy drinks that taste not that good, but like have just, like Chucky and Michael Myers on them. Oh, of course. I'm like trying to find out in the room where I have it, but maybe they're not in here. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I don't see it, but that's awesome. So this one is like it. definitely dark. Yeah, definitely a dark one. Hmm. Let's smell it. Okay, so yeah, I get the coffee yeah, right away. Too. Coffee with cinnamon. Yeah. That's what I get out of the smell. Now, are you a big coffee drinker? I'm not that big of a coffee drinker. Yeah. I don't hate it, but it's not my go-to. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I like Starbucks with like tons of like, you know, syrup and sauce. It's so okay. pretty much sugar with a little bit of caffeine. Yeah. So, I haven't yeah. gotten there yet, yeah. but I'm sure eventually I'll get to that route. Yeah. But I'd be the same way. It'd have to be just mask the taste of coffee yes exactly That's okay. okay i definitely Got get it. the nutmeg yep. is that like nutmeg at the end it's like a mix eh? it's like the nutmeg and the coffee yeah because kind of, you definitely get that cinnamon I, I get at first i don't really get it very faint yeah the cinnamon but you smell it more than you taste it yeah but yeah it's good it's at first, it it's like really good, and then it's like a it's like a weird aftertaste. I don't know what that is, right? I I, I think it's the coffee, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. I guess because I'm not I guess that is not really big coffee drinkers. Yeah. You can't really get it, but but yeah, it's good. It's not it's not bad for. Uh, no, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm yeah. like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this Me too. one. Me too. Just once you saw once I saw <laughs> the coffee, I was like, I don't know about this one. All right, so let's do the trivia while we're drinking. 
Okay. Right. So in which horror movie does the protagonist write a book that contains only the line, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, repeated over and over and over? The first one, Rider's Block, The Ninth Gate, The Devil's Reign, or The Shining? Ooh. Hmm. I feel like I've only really heard of like two of those, so this might be tough. All work really and no play. Again? Okay. In which horror? Oh, the, the option? The, yeah. Okay. Writer's Block. Okay. The Ninth Gate. The Devil's Reign. Or The Shining. Okay, I'm going to say The Ninth Gate. Oh, <laughs> oh what's this noise going off? No! All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Jack? I'm going to probably just be upset by that. <laughs> You want me to shining? tell you? It's The Shining. I, uh, I second guess what? myself. What? I thought like that was. I like... second guess myself on that. <laughs> I thought it was, and then I was like, no, I don't think it is. But Todd, I should just went with my gut. You shut up. up. I know. I always do that. Always go with your gut. Always. Okay, so let's do another one. Started off strong. This, oh, no. <laughs> this one should be a little <laughs> easier. I think. Okay. I think this is easier. What classic horror movie was originally titled The Babysitter Murders? Scream, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, or Rosemary's Baby? That's a tough one, because I feel like Rosemary's Baby would make a lot of sense. Think uh, of the title, The Babysitter Murders. The Babysitter Murders. Babysitter Murders. What, what villain ba oh. kills babysitters? Wait, what is it? I'm sorry. Scream? No, it's okay. Don't be sorry. Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, or Rosemary's Baby? Huh. I told him these questions are going to be easy, by the way. She did. Yes. <laughs> um, sorry. I guess I'll go Rosemary's Baby. Oh, yeah! It's Halloween. You should have went with your gut. I knew it. I was thinking <laughs> Halloween, too. This. It's been a while since I've seen Halloween. Yeah. So. Michael Myers uh, kills babysitters. Rosemary Baby, like you think babysitter because the, the baby, yeah. yeah. But that's where I was thinking. My head was going, but originally <laughs> I was like, "That's probably Halloween." You were close. Once you were again, close. just go your gut. Yep. Just go your gut. You know it. Again. You know it. You know it. Just See, that's the thing. Like I had it in my head, and I had to read the names again. I'm like, "All right, yeah. I think it might be that one." And then, and your defense, you're drinking. You've been drinking. That too. So that's very true. It's in his defense, but yeah. I, you know, I actually didn't know that that was the original name for it. Now, as a Halloween fan, like, that's my favorite horror movie ever yeah. besides Scream. I had no idea that was the original name. And thank you, God, that they changed it because the babysitter murders sound horrible. Yeah, it would, probably would not have stuck as much as Halloween. Yeah, is. it sounds like the Babysitter's Club. Yeah, right? exactly. The but Babysitter Murders. They made a good choice change at the Halloween. Yes. That's just iconic. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you want to rate this one? Sure. Okay. Right. I'm going to give this one... I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Um, I think it, it's a darker one. Uh, the coffee is not like I said. I'm not crazy about coffee, but it's good. If like it, if I had it, I wouldn't turn it away. Uh, I would definitely drink it, but yeah. it's not like oh, let me get another one of it. But it, it was good though. If you like coffee, I definitely would, would say try it out. Yeah, it's definitely one for coffee lovers. If you love beer and coffee, this is like you can't go wrong with this one. All right, so I'm going to have to copy Todd again, and I'm going to give it a three. Like, I didn't hate it. It did taste good. It is not one that I can just drink all the time. Like, it was like, you know, it's like sipping here and there, yeah. or once in a while, like a little brewery. But, yeah, it's not one I would buy home, buy for home and, like, just drink while I'm, like, hanging out. I would get it, like, if you're getting flights. That way you yes. get a little bit of yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely flights. Like, but if you, but if you love beer and you love coffee, then, yeah. This is, with it. this is yeah. for you. We're just not big coffee drinkers, so that's why it was a three for us. Um, so we're both on Untapped. If you guys are on Untapped, I'm going to have all the information down below. You know, we put all the beers that we drink, we rate them, you know, we give our opinions so like with like different flavors and stuff. Yeah, that, I like that you can like click on the different options, the yes. different uh, like, I guess, flavors or notes as people like to call it. Yeah. I never call it that. I'm just kind of like, I taste this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. But that's what they let you do. You just click the tab and you can rate it whatever you want. Yeah. Tag what brewery you're at. Uh, I like to go a step ahead and I put it on Instagram and where and tag the brewery. Beer snob. I am, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
become <laughs> friends with a lot of brewers too so like they'll they'll re, they'll repost my posts so. oh, that's awesome it's a cool way to get their names out there that and is everything. cool yeah but yeah putting a little untap tag on it too so it comes up i'm gonna start doing that yeah i'll show you how to do it okay. when, that's a good idea show, so. i didn't even know you could do that yeah that's i learned awesome. it i just learned it like last year so i've been doing a lot more but yeah it's a cool way to interact though yeah They'll, they'll like notice you and then sometimes they'll even message you asking you how you really liked it. Mm -hmm. I've had that happen a couple times, so it's cool. It's a little bit like, oh yeah, I'll let you know how it is. A lot of times my problem is like I'll try the beer and then I'll rate it later on and I'm like, what did it taste like? What notes, oh, yeah. you know, like, like I'll remember if it's a stout or a sour or anything, but I won't remember like certain flavors and I'm like, I'll just copy other people's answers. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and then just put of what course. they already have. Yeah, that's, but. that's when I just kind of like, Maybe I won't rate this one. I'll just say I drank it. And then yeah. I'll go back another time. <laughs> All right. So that one is the Coffee Pumpkin Ale Pumpkinchino. Okay. okay. So the next beer we're going to be trying is Dark of the Moon. Now, this is a pumpkin stout. I love stouts. That's very good. How are you on like stouts and like like now? Like I know a lot of people are like, you can't drink stouts in warm weather. Are you like I don't care. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, that I can do way. stouts like yeah, anytime. Yeah, I can too. I love if it's good, give me it. Yes, so that's all I want. <laughs> Which is weird. Like I don't. Okay, so this one it's dark of the moon, dark o the moon. Sorry, I'm like saying the wrong name. Dark o the moon pumpkin stout is spookily smooth and chocolatey, chocolate, chocolate. To, I can't. Okay, chocolatey? and I'm not even drunk. I can't even say it. Chol <laughs> yeah, he said it for me. With a touch of cinnamon. So yeah, chocolate and cinnamon. Okay, guys, I can't That's say it. That's a great combo. <laughs> like, how can you get any better than exactly. that? Exactly. So the ABV is 7.5. So a little higher than the last one, yeah. which was 6. But yeah. It's okay. a decent one for a stout. Like, it you is. You get like that 8 or 9 range. So 7's not bad at all. Oh, Ooh, it's like it's dark. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, so it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely got like the chocolate dark, like the, like uh, the, uh, you know, the bubbles. It's got mm -hmm. like, you can tell there's chocolate in it. Oh, I love I chocolate stouts. Yeah, chocolate stouts are so good. Yeah. Too, so. Look, look at that. Look at that mm. color, guys. It's a great color. Yeah. I smell cinnamon. I smell cinnamon, <laughs> yeah, right away. That's cinnamon strong in this one. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. Very good. I get the chocolate, mm -hmm. I get the cinnamon right away. Then pumpkin. Pumpkin's yeah. added in there, but you definitely get a lot of chocolate. Oh, this is, it? yeah, okay, so I'm a fan of this one. All right, so let's do some trivia while we're drinking. That's a good one. Really good. <laughs> okay, so what color is Freddy Krueger's sweater? Red and black, red and green. Red and blue or red and yellow? You're probably cheating if he's probably somewhere. Uh, yeah. You want to like peek? What was it? Red and red and black. Okay. Red and green, red and blue, or red and yellow? It's red and green. Yes. Ding 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 ding. Yes. I was Thank like thinking God. gray at first, <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, it's definitely not that. Yeah. But. Red and green. Like, not yellow. Yes. Yeah. And he didn't cheat because I didn't see him look around. No, I no, like no. Freddy Krueger in the corner. Oh, do you? I didn't yeah, notice you that. see him over there. I do that when I'm answering questions. Like it might look like I'm looking around. It's that's just the way I think. No, but so. he's kind of in the corner. He would really <laughs> okay. have to. Yeah, have like, to break through uh, to see him. I like. can't see either, so I, I, use, <laughs> I feel like is that him? <laughs> yes, got that one right. All right. Okay. I had to redeem myself. Yes, that and you too. did. That was a good one. <laughs> Okay, so let's do the next one. This one's kind of fairly easy. Okay. I think you should get it. Okay. Where does Friday the 13th take place? Camp Clear Lake, Camp Crystal Lake, Camp Crescent Lake, or Camp Kikiwaka? Um, camp Crystal Lake. Ding, ding, yes. ding, ding, ding. Okay. Yes. Okay. Please, I don't second guess myself. Yes. Look at that. That yes. was that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, I, cause it seems like a simple question, but then when you yeah. read, read the the different choices, they kind of sound similar. They do. They pick good ones to like kind of go yeah, up there to like throw you off. Okay, yes, Camp Crystal Lake. Yes. And so mm -hmm. I really like this a lot. I do too. You so, rate it now. Yeah, you want to okay. rate it. I'm gonna go. Oh, we can't do halves. So I was gonna go with a four and a half, but oh, I'll go wow. more with like a four. Okay. If we're gonna do that just because. Yeah, it's it's a great stout. Just even take away the pumpkin and everything. Like you have the chocolate, cinnamon, mm -hmm. pumpkin added in there, which is a plus. And yeah. yeah, it's very drinkable. 
I don't think it's too heavy at not all. Not at all. No, yeah. that's 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 like that's my favorite part of a stout is when it's not too heavy. Yeah. You don't feel like after you drink here, you're like, now I'm full. Like, uh huh. I could definitely go back and keep going to this one more. Yeah. So four. <sighs> okay. I would like. I really love it. I think a three is too low. We're not doing half readings. So I'm going to go with a four. Okay. I think a three would be too low for this. Of course, yeah. So I'm going to give it four stars as well. Uh, I it's, it's not too heavy of a stout. You definitely get the chocolate. You definitely get the pumpkin. You definitely get the cinnamon. But it's not overbearing. I don't, I don't think, like, you know, it's, like, not too cinnamon. Not at all. It all mixes well. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a fan I of this like one. I finished it. We <laughs> <laughs> did finish it. I think this is the first one yeah. we finished. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right, so. I kept going back to it, because that's how good it is. Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. I have to catch well, up. I just can't do a five. I don't know. It's just, like, I just, I'm sure I will do a five. Yeah. But I just can't, like, I feel like I have to try them all first. I'll be like, you know what? Maybe that one was actually a five. This one definitely is close, though. Uh -huh. So I was saying, if, it, if we had the half, so it would have been like a four, a four and a half. Four and a half, which is, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, very good. So this one is the Dark O of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. I, I like it. It's a great, yeah. great picture there. Yeah, it is. I'm a fan of all these bottles. Yeah, they're, they're all just really, really nice. Cool. Even that. Let's do the sign here. Okay, so the next beer we're going to try is the Great oh, Pumpkin. It's a good name. Yes. <laughs> and look at that artwork. Yes. You gotta appreciate that. So this one is an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. So I'm gonna read about it in a second. Oh, look at that color. Ooh, that's nice. Yes. Okay, so this one, okay, so the Great Pumpkin is the world's first Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It's packed with pumpkin and roasted pumpkin seeds and spiced with nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and allspice. Now the ABV for this is 8.4. Going up with that. Yes, we're going <laughs> higher and higher. I'm shocked higher. this, well, I guess Imperial. I'm, say, I'm shocked this is more than the stout. But, yes. But I guess with the Imperial, it's probably, a, it makes a lot more sense. And look at that color. That's it's a great color. Yeah. Know, <laughs> oh, it smells really good too. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. You can smell, you can definitely smell some Imperial, but mm -hmm. you can smell like cinnamon, nutmeg. Like right away. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that smells really good. That's good. That's, really good. That's like really light, yeah. right? Yeah, for an Imperial Ale, yeah, it's really light. At 8.4% yeah. too, I'm like, I'm not going to like this. And that's why I love pumpkin beers, because you don't get that like heavy taste like to it, where you're just yeah. like, you make that face, like the, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Make that, <laughs> that like, <face>. yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it, you, I guess the pumpkin kind of mellows it out a little mm -hmm. bit. But yeah, it's very good. I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I'm like, I didn't know if I was gonna like this one, but I really like it. Okay, so, so my next question is kind of just off the top of my head. Okay. Now it's kind of a tr trick question. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's too hard. Maybe it is if you're okay. not a horror fan. But who is the killer in Friday the Thirteenth? The first Friday the Thirteenth. First one. This is not multiple choice. Oh no! <laughs> put me on the spot. Uh, it's a trick question. Yeah. The killer of the first Friday of the Thirteenth. <laughs> Why am I mixing up characters? Because it's not my. Like, it's not. No, that's Halloween. That's Halloween. Yeah. I'm thinking of Freddy. That's Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. We have to watch horror movies. I know. No, <laughs> we have to have so a horror behind. movie night. Oh, I can't think of anything. Okay, yet. this one's kind of a trick question, okay. and it's a hard question. Yeah. So they, 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 Casey in Scream 1 is actually asked this question, and she's like, Jason, Jason's the killer in Friday the 13th. Yeah. It's not Jason in the original Friday the 13th, it's Mrs. Voorhees. Oh, is actually yes, it was. the killer. Okay. So yeah. it was a trick question. I like set you up for failure. For I was watch. like, yeah, I wasn't even thinking that yeah. way. And then when she said, I'm like, that is true. Yeah. I do remember that. The yeah. one with Kevin Bacon. Yep. And like, I think everybody forgets that movie. And like, in the end scream i always remember that scene and she's like jason and i'm like no not jason you're gonna get your boyfriend killed and she does steve dies oh scream <laughs> that's a good that's a good one too yes i love scream we're actually going to a convention oh really yes and we are taking pictures with matthew lillard and um who plays Stu. he's yep. you know the, one of the killers in the first one and jamie kennedy mm. yes i'm pretty excited ned camel was supposed to be there 
and Skeet Ulrich was supposed to be okay. there, but they backed out. I uh, guess they had like they were filming. So I'm like, oh, I was so bummed about that. It's crazy that. you don't get enough Campbell like in. Says she's the star of the movie. Yeah. And everything. But Matthew Lillard's good too. Yeah. So. I love. I actually just bought a necklace with like his face on it to That's wear awesome. to the convention. So I'm gonna be like old nerd <laughs> out and like, like my tagline that I say for my show is okay. "I'll be right back." And it's actually from Scream. Yes. It's like yes. a no no in horror movies. I know the scene too. Yeah. Right? He's like, I'll Towards be right end, back. Yeah. And I like, you know, you don't do that in horror movies because that means you're going to die. So I'm 100%. like, yeah, being ballsy <laughs> and saying that. And yeah, I probably shouldn't. But yeah, that's what I say when I open my show and I close my show. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. So hopefully I can get him to say that with me if I get an autograph too. I would use it every time. Yes. Show. That's it. That's how you got to start it or end it. Yeah. So, just yeah. Matthew Lillard yep. saying that with me. Dream came come true. Like that would, uh, I'd probably cry. Our show, we like tr we try to do that. We try to like tag people or just kind of like we try to do like sponsors too. We'll be like, we'll we'll just mention them and be like, please sponsor us or something like that. People do like <laughs> yeah, like we'll we'll do it on Twitter. We'll tag like we're trying to get people from the show. Now I guess I didn't really explain our show. Our show is a uh, it's a the FX show, of the league. We're mm -hmm. like a watch along show. We also talk about like our personal lives. Um, football starting, so it's it's like kind of more of a sports show. So we're gonna start talking about football once that starts. We're up to season two, so we don't want to rush it. So we kind of do yeah. it every other week. So our new episode should be out, I think, tomorrow. So on Sunday. Um, but we'll see. My friend does all the editing. So whenever he has a chance, like, he's, I know he's at the Mets game right now. So he's not going to edit. I won't, the fall, Mets. I won't fall from for that. <laughs> although he should be getting the episode out. Just kidding. <laughs> Because then I don't want to do It'll it. It'll be so. out by the time this is yes, out. Yes, 100%. So yeah. I'm hoping to have this out in the next day or so. So we'll have that information so they okay. can check you and out. And I did on our last episode, we, we recorded on Tuesday. I did mention that it was going to be on here. Oh, so. that's awesome. Yeah, so it was. Uh, so yeah, so I definitely mentioned it. So it's definitely, uh, if, you if you check it out, please check it out. Um, but, yes, um, definitely. definitely. Like, De check it out. Mentioned. Follow him on all yes. social media. Yes, at the top on almost everything. Untapped, if you want to do that too, it's at Todd 1129. Yeah, we'll have it down below too, so you guys just be easy to find him. You just click the links yeah. and you're there. We actually, with Untapped, we both forgot what our names were, so <laughs> we spent time looking it up. So now it's like in my head, like, this is what your name is. Because the only different from like using my other handles on everything. Yeah, I don't remember my name actually. You don't remember. No. It's just, you just kind of do it, and it's just like, oh yeah, that's what I have. It's probably something cheesy. Yeah, I don't even remember. I try to keep it all simple, <laughs> just because I know I'm gonna forget. Yeah. So I just try, like, especially when we want to add someone. It's like, what is my name? Yeah. Here, scan this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it is. So, what would you rate this one? I'm gonna give this one a four. Four. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's a, like a light for an imperial. It's very drinkable. Definitely gonna go back to it. Yeah. I would not turn that one away. All the all the flavors are there that they describe, so so you get it all if you're into it. And yeah, it's a very drinkable beer and definitely something I would order again. So I'm gonna give this a four as well. I really love this one. It's light, it's it's not what I expected when I saw the percentage. I got scared. <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna be like strong, it's not gonna taste delicious. It's it's really good. I I have no complaints. You get all the flavors. Now, I kind of, the first one we tried, which I'm trying to remember the name of it, it was Night a, Owl. Night, Night Owl. Yes. I'm going to change my score. I'm okay. actually going to give it a five. Okay. Yeah, I, see, that's yeah. what I was saying before. Like, yeah. you're going to go through all of them and be like, all right, that one should have been a five. It should have been a five yeah. because I really, really love this one. And I was like, okay, maybe this should be a five. But then I'm like, I loved the first one more. Mm -hmm. So I think Night Owl is going to get five stars. Nice. So scratch the four. <laughs> I give it a five and this is going to get a four. I like that just a little bit better than this one, but this one is a really great. It's it's very good. Yeah, definitely definitely recommend it if you're looking for uh, a little ABV on a uh, a pumpkin beer. Yeah. And it's nothing you won't like. You won't do that weird face again. You you'll drink it all the time and yeah, yeah definitely enjoy it. So we have a can here that Todd was going to show you guys. Oh yeah, this is awesome. The art is amazing. We're just talking about can art. So yeah. here we go. All right. So this is uh, it's from Good Word Brewing. It's in a what is it? Duluth, Georgia. Uh, a couple friends of mine found it. Uh, my name's in it, so it made a lot of sense. But <laughs> especially with the horror theme, it it's it's actually awesome. I I kind of like if you have a chance to like Google. It's called Die Todd Die. Um, so you can see the all everything on the can because there's a lot to it. But here's, so here's what it is. 
How cool is that? Yeah, and there's a little, there's like little sayings on it too, that like no Todds were harmed in the making <laughs> of this. Is cute. But yeah, so if you ever have a chance to Google it, definitely check it out because it it's it's an awesome can. Like I would, I'm like almost don't even want to drink them sometimes. <laughs> I just want to hold on to it. But it's a good beer too. Like I, I've had it a co couple of them. I have one left at home. I brought you guys one. Thank you. So uh, so yeah, so definitely check it out. And if you ever see it, definitely pick it up. Especially if your name's Todd and you're a horror fan, exactly. like you can't get cooler than that. Exactly. My That's friends awesome. are like, we're thinking of you. It sent this. Like. Wait, what? <laughs> but then I was like, I was like, wait, that's cool though. Like, I, I definitely gotta get it. They're like, we're getting it. I was like, awesome. Cool in like a morbid, creepy yep. way, which I like. So the first time I got it, I posted it, and everyone's like, okay, like, like thinking something's wrong with me. I was like, no, it's like cool. Look at the can. You're like, you okay, Todd? Yeah, exactly. I was like, no, it's just it's a good beer, and the can looks awesome. Like, it just so happens to be called Die Todd Die. <laughs> definitely an interesting name, but the can is beautiful. So. I'm a fan. Okay, so the next beer we're going to try is actually from a different brewery. It's from Great South Bay Brewery. Big it's, fan of Great South Bay. Yes. Now this one is the Splashing Pumpkin. It's pumpkin ale with cinnamon and clove. Look at that art. Like, how it's beautiful great. is that? Great art. Actually, this is their new art. They used to have older art. Uh, actually, the old art was pretty cool. Like, this one's a lot nicer, too. So. Yeah, look at that. Now this oh, one they kept is... that. Yeah, okay. They yeah they had the, the like the pumpkin guy, and then I think it was like a darker. It looked almost like like a, I guess it was like that him going to like the moon or something. So this is like yeah. This one is different. like he's surfing yeah, cool. and like the the bats and the skeleton. Like that's beautiful. This one is twelve ounces. They have the yes. Okay, so it, this is a five. Per, this is five percent. So it's not as strong as the other yeah. ones. So let's see the can. I love the can. Almost. Can is nice. Yeah. Yeah, so big, this is a local brewery for very us. Very local, yeah. Bayshore, Bayshore. Uh... Now there's another one actually. I don't know if you've been to it, but you've heard of Ghost, right? Uh, that's yes. A, that's one. I love Ghost. Uh, yeah, that's a good one too. But they don't do a pumpkin. I will. Oh, they don't uh, do a pumpkin. I no, know that. They, they don't. Uh, the head brewer named Paul is a great guy. He knows a lot about beer. He makes a lot of great beer. So check him out as well. Yes. Um, he's. Yeah, he doesn't never does a pumpkin, but he has other different things. But yeah, Great South Bay, their head brewers, great guy. I've met him a few times, and the brewery's great. It's massive, but yeah, their beers are all all very good. Big fan. It's not gonna be a part of my scoring. I'm gonna give it a fair <laughs> scoring. <laughs> and we're gonna have all the information down the, down below for all the breweries, so you guys, it'll be easy for you to find the link to Great South Bay if you want to try it. But yeah, their beer is really amazing. Yeah. I can go on and on about the people <laughs> I know, but I won't do that. That'd be in a whole nother show if that happens. But, but yeah, if you guys want to see the color. Yeah, this is a good color. It is. It's like darker than, it's like the dark that we just had. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice. Because the other one we had the night out was a lot lighter, but. It smells really good, actually. Oh, yeah. You definitely get like the pumpkin and the cinnamon. I think they won a medal for this. I think I was just reading on the can. I know. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually says it. But I know that they won a medal on it. Yep, they definitely won. I don't know what medal. could always find that out. But, but yeah, they won a medal on this. So I'll so I know it's good. and put it up somewhere yeah. behind us if we do. Just adding stuff to the... You gotta <laughs> add to it. <laughs> it's good. It's light. It is like if you like pumpkin beer, but you don't like it overwhelmingly sweet, then I definitely think this is... A great pumpkin oh, yeah. beer for you because it's not like the other ones were like really sweet which i love really sweet but i also do like a lighter yeah this is definitely pumpkin. this is definitely a lighter version of it it's uh another drinkable one this is one I, i've had a lot so i always go back to it especially yes. during when when's pumpkin season now i have a friend that works at uh at great South Bay, so she posted like that they had it out mm -hmm. and she asked the question like how do you feel about pumpkin being out now like we talked about the, with the night owl beer and like most people are like, oh, I don't care. Like, it's pumpkin. I love yeah. pumpkin. But then there was, more, uh, like, one guy that I, I know personally, and he was like, no, you guys can wait. It's not the time yet. Yeah. But, and I'm like, I love it either way. So that's what the pump. <clears throat> so they're starting to come out soon, or they have started yeah, to Yeah, they're out. starting to release a lot of them. So I thought it was, like, the perfect time to do, of you course. know, pumpkin teas. I and mean, people are probably like, why are you doing this in August? Because they're starting to come out. Mm -hmm. So we're letting you guys know before, so. Yeah. So now you know what to go for. Exactly, so, exactly. And you make the right choices going mm -hmm. in for your pumpkin beer, not be like, I don't know about this one. Yeah, now you guys know. 
So how we? Do, oh, let me do my trivia question. Yes. Yes. All right. So I don't know if this one would be hard mm. for you or not. It's not multiple choice. Okay. So it might be. What is Chucky's like when he was a not a doll when he was actually a man? What was his oh. real name? That I have no idea. I didn't even think about. It. Oh, oh, that's why. That's why it's a tough one. Well, think of his first, like Chucky. I'm gonna say it's is it Charles? That, yes. Okay. Uh, there's like there's three names. I feel like I have heard of it, but I just can't like think of it. Do you know Maureen's middle name? No. No, it's been I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because that would be okay. So that's the middle name. Okay. Lee. Lee. Okay. Charles Lee. Uh, don't got it. Yeah, Charles Lee Ray. You were close. You got okay. Charles. <laughs> that was a hard one. It was multi wasn't multiple questions. Actually, like ne like for some reason didn't even put like the fact Chucky was like an actual person ever. It's just a doll. Yes. Have yeah. you seen the actual show on Sci Fi? Actually, I haven't. No. It is so yeah. good. Like I, it is. I'm so, so good. behind on on all of it. I have to catch up. I. Uh, it's like the show that I do is is a watch along show. I watch it like. I do my research before, but yeah. even then, like, I really should watch it, like, a couple times, but I'm so far behind on TV and everything, but there's so many good shows out now. That's definitely, if you, I know you're, like, not big in horror, but it, that's definitely one to watch. I'll take any suggestions, so if you, it's if you a, have any, just post them. I'm just. telling <laughs> you, it's a really good one, and the second season's coming out soon, okay. I'm pretty sure it's October. But, like, they bring back a lot of, like, Andy from the first one, the little boy who's, like, traumatized by Chucky. You know, he's yeah. back on the show. Um, Jennifer Tilly's back. So that is, like, I definitely recommend. Jennifer Tilly. She's yes. all about horror movies. Yes. Yeah. She is back in her, it's like, she's fabulous. <laughs> like she's awesome. Yeah. I just, like, sent my sister, I'm like, I want this for my birthday. And it was, like, because I have the Chucky doll. And I'm like, he needs you know, his Tiffany. So it was like the Tiffany doll. So that That's was awesome. on my birthday list for her. You know, thanks Faith, if you're ready for it. But yeah. All right, so let's read this one. Oh yeah, one. we gotta read this. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the four, another four. No, like you said before, I'm gonna go back and say that the, um, the stout is definitely a five. Yeah. I gotta give one a five, so. The stout was definitely we five to me. Stout. Loved it. So I said it was like four and a half, yeah. but I said four because we're doing. But that one I'm gonna go back and say is a five. Okay, this so five stars for the stout. But this is definitely a four. It's it's a good one. It's uh, it's one I've ha I've had a lot of. I always go back to it when it comes to pumpkin season. I'll never turn it away. But yeah, definitely a four. So I would have to say like. If we were doing a half, I'd probably do three and a half, just because I think I like a little bit more sweeter. Um, but the sweet, obviously, you can't do all the time. Mm -hmm. And this one's, like, light. You still get the pumpkin. You get the cinnamon. So I'm going to give it a four because I think, like, three would be too low. It's definitely not a three. It's one I can drink often. I just like, you know, I like my sugar. I like it sweet. Like, <laughs> like Starbucks, like, I pour in the syrups and the sauces, and it's almost no coffee. So, yeah, I'm a fan of sweet, but, like, this is really, really good. So it's four stars for me. I th four, Three would be too low, so. Yeah, all these were really good. Like, yes. nothing was below a three. Like, everything was good. Now I have a controversial question. Okay. Um, cinnamon sugar rim, how are you on it? I love cinnamon do sugar you? rim. Yeah. I can do without it sometimes. Really? Yeah, it depends. Depends on which oh, one, but I can I love do without it. it. Now, one of the places I used to go to, they don't really make beer anymore, the, the Brick House for mm -hmm. that job. They used to make their beer, so you didn't eat it. They put the, they put it all in there, so okay. you didn't have to like you didn't eat it. The room, they also yeah. shame you if you got it, but so I kind of adapted that. So, yeah. But like, yeah, it depends. Like, I'm not like against it. I won't be like, oh, why would you give me that? But yeah. <laughs> I don't eat it all the time. I don't know. I just love <clears throat> sweet. I don't know. Oh yeah. Like, See, I'm I don't hate sweet. I like not too much sweet. So that's yeah. why this one that I like because I can just keep going on it. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's too much. No, it's it's very it's it's a very good drinkable one. So if you like pumpkin beers that are light, you know, not too not obnoxiously sweet, then like this is definitely what you guys should go for. It is the Great South Bay Splashing Pumpkin. That, what a cute name, Splashing name, Pumpkin. Yeah. Like how can you not love that? <laughs> We're fans, obviously. Four stars. Thank you guys so much for watching today. We had such a great time. If you want to find Todd, where can they find you? Uh, you can find my personal pages on Twitter and Instagram at the Todd Dayton. And you can find the show at Sitting Shiva on Twitter. And you can also find us on Anchor. You can find us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. 
So we're going to have all that information down below. So it's really easy to find Todd. Again, thank you so much. Comment down below. Let us know if you had a good time today. The season is just beginning. There's so many pumpkin beers out there. So let us know if you want more of these videos. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And we'll be right back.